Hi, I'm Broomy, this is Dave, and welcome to Supercars Talk. Okay, so welcome to Supercars Talk. As the name suggests, this show is dedicated to all things supercars. We're going to be doing race reviews, there are race wrap-ups, Dave will be your host, I might drop in for a few episodes as well, but without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so Dave, most exciting thing before the race season actually starts is what do all of these cars look like? So livery reviews, um, let's have a look at a few of them and, and see which cars are, get the thumbs up, which cars are, yeah, middle of the pack, uh, okay look-wise, and which cars just absolutely stink, because there is a few of them this year, you'd have to agree. <laughs> Definitely. There's a few shockers out there, so... Uh, what else should we start in? Um, not champion sure. from last year. Yeah, all right, good move. Uh, yeah. Let's start with the champ from last year. So it was that bloke right there, uh, young Scotty McLaughlin. So um, if we have a look at his car here, the this is him. Paint little job cheek has shit not here. changed much. Doesn't look like it. So that's the, his. Uh, the, that's the paint job. And if you look at that to the <laughs> to the 2018 car. They put um, Repco on the rear quarter panel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they definitely did that. Um, they changed the badge on the front too. I'm pretty sure the bloke that did the livery last year um, went on a gap year and only got back with the week... He got back on from leave the week before this. Uh, re, that they need to reveal the car and wrap the car. And uh, he's just gone, oh, we won the championship last year. Car looked all right. We'll slap Repco on the wing in the rear guard and send what, it. Why, why breaks... breaks. <laughs> Why break something that's not? Why, <laughs> why fix something that's not broken? He's saying why fix something that's not broken. That's a good. That's a good <laughs> adage to live by. All right. Yeah. So that's that car. Looks good. We'll move on to that one. Uh, next were the runners up. The uh, Tri- Triple Eight Red Bull Holden Racing Team. Yeah. So again, uh, look. Ve- I, are you sure this isn't a 2018 it's, car? No, it's definitely different, and oh. I, th- I think it's a bit more messy this year. Uh, the a good problem to have when you got a lot of sponsors, so you got to fit them on somewhere. Mm. But um, yeah. yeah, it looks looks a bit busy for my liking. Yeah, well, for those that don't know, Dave lives, eats, breathes, sleeps this twenty four seven. I follow it a bit, um, not so much since it went to dedicated Foxtel. Bring back free to wear, um, but I still follow it. I still understand the cars, but to me, as just a casual race fan, these things look the same to me. So. Um, Obviously, yeah, we've got the 97 and, and double eight cars, so we Cup and Van Gisbergen, so they look the same. So. And no Lounsey's this year either. No Lounsey, no. Uh, he, he'll be coming back for the Enduros uh, with Wing Cup, so that'll be a good pairing to watch. Certainly will be. We'll All get right. into that a bit later, though. Let's look at... Tickford. Tickford Racing, XFPRX, everything other. Yeah, so this is basically... They're called the- Tickford this year. Tickford. Um, they've uh, got rid of one of their wrecks as well, and they've incorporated the uh, Red 23 team, so the Milwaukee car is going to be running out of their garage. So in case you're not familiar with whatever you just said, <laughs> a wreck is a racing entitlement contract, which is essentially the right to race in one of these. It's like if you're a taxi driver, you need a registration and license to drive a taxi, or you need a wreck to drive a V8 supercar to own a V8 supercar, essentially. So yeah, they've handed one back and absorbed one of the privateer, so to speak, teams into their own team. So uh, let's have a look at the cars here. So I might start off with Lee Holsworth. So this is the ex- Mark Winterbottom car, and it looks pretty much the same, the Bottolo car. So Yeah, the... Um, the what the alcohol branding on the bonnets changed um, okay, yep. yeah we've gone from uh, mercury to southern comfort and that's about it so yeah and of course they're in a mustang as well again be more of a fan of it like jack daniels on the bottom <laughs> whatever happened that's well yeah that went away I but uh, yeah people oh. buy jack daniels I, people don't buy southern comfort really well, that's true. I, 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 I buy Jack. I, I had a very bad night once on Southern Comfort, and I've never had it again. <laughs> well, there you go. Thanks for that insight into your uh, personal life. Um, next car, let's look at uh, the Milwaukee car. Red da- uh, Will Davidson, Red Twenty Three. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. And another one to take a holiday and just use the same paint job from say, last year. Maybe a little bit more red. Uh, a little bit more edgy graphics. I don't know. To be honest, I don't remember seeing this car last year. It was that far up the back of the pack. Uh, <laughs> forgot he was actually racing in most of the races. So. It, might, it might be mid-pack this year. Yeah, okay, yeah. So um, second last car the, the will be car. yeah, Monster Energy car. So Love it. 
This car looks really. Uh, this car looks really good from this angle in the front. So uh, you can't see that probably yeah. really well, but um, from the front or from the side, these Mustangs and the side profile look crap. Well, in well, my opinion, with the rear wing or the, the yeah, the, the, the rear the, guard just doesn't look right for it because yeah. it's a two door and it's based on the car of the future. The yeah. chassis underneath is based around that four door car, as you can see here. And what yeah. they've it essentially done, it's the same body underneath and they've slapped on a Mustang um, panels over the top, but they're not really Mustang panels. They don't fit properly. And I, they've sort of butchered it to make it work with, yeah. obviously the wheels still have to be in the same position and the driver still has to sit in the same place. And there's I, some, this car is I, about as good as that car can look. I, I, to be honest, I think Ford's, they've, they've, they've done a very good job with yeah. what they had to work with. Yeah. Say that again. You can't things like the the bonnet on there, like on the Mustang, the bonnet would finish about here, but yeah. you've still got to finish it where it finished on the Falcon. Yeah. And I, I think it was just something about. I saw a photo. This looks like almost glossy black in here, but yeah. in, in sunlight, it's actually a really flat black. And because yeah. this rear guard actually has no sponsor on it, it looked very long and stretched out Thick. and sparse. Yeah. So it looked it's, odd. So yeah, the it's proportions a, aren't quite. It's right. a very good looking car for for what they've got to work with. But yeah. so yeah, they've done and that job moves on, that on to the last car in the pack and possibly <laughs> if that if so whoever works doing that livery <laughs> and it, I don't know if it's the same bloke that does this livery but my god go and take a good long hard That's, look at yourself in the mirror mate I, because I think this might be the work experience kid <laughs> <laughs> they may they, they may have found this one out this, got this out actually reminds Microsoft me of paint and just kind of this slapped. this looks like something my daughter would come home from kinder <laughs> where she's cut out all things from a magazine and just glued them onto a car green and black just, red white this one that one this one that one that one goes there send it one one good thing about that though is there is sponsors on there yeah. so you, you've I, got to kind of fit the sponsors' colours in and everything. Yeah, I mean, but, it, I mean, it's not. Yeah. I mean, you look at that NASCARs and they're just ridiculous. It's like Talladega yeah. Nights type of thing where they've just got eight million sponsors over the car and that. But yeah. I mean, in Australia, sponsorship dollars are hard to come by. And totally Very different. Hard. Um, yeah. Totally different landscape compared to overseas and that. And I mean, yeah, if they if they've got to have all these sponsors on the car to to get the car to the grid and and, and be competitive, then all power to them, whatever. But yeah, doesn't mean I have to like it. Yeah. Uh, Oh, that's, that's that one. Uh, next, um, Erebus. Erebus. Well, Pen Penwright Racing. True, true. Penwright uh, Racing this year. Going to take me a while to. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Penwright. Yeah, well, love the brand. Placement. Love the brand. So uh, the bonus here: both cars painted the same this year. Yeah. Um, I think about three, four rounds last year, Penwright stepped up and sponsored uh, Anton as well. But mm -hmm. this year, full naming rights, both yeah. cars. Now, last year, did. Um, Jack LeBrock win Rick, Rookie of the Year? Or, yes. Because in, in my opinion, for the races that I watched or, 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 or the races that I did actually watch, for me, Anton was a rookie. Oh, he, he, Anton was a standout, definitely. So I don't know if, but if Jack's was, got photos on somebody in like whoever does the voting in this, but... No, no it's winning. not voted. It's um, whoever finished highest in the championship. Oh, is that all the but, time? Um, oh, okay. Jack, Jack was more consistent over the whole year, whereas Anton had those peaks. Yeah, okay. Um, yep. well, yeah, not taking anything away, thing away from Jack. He oh, had yeah. a good year and he's yeah. not in it quite uh, and the same I guess, team, I guess but, look, it, it, like I said before, I, mean, I don't follow it as closely as, as you would, yeah. so I wouldn't watch every single race. I probably watch the big races and sort of follow some of the smaller ones, but all the big races where the, you know, that, that were televising it on, on whatever channel yeah. 10 or whatever buddy televises it these days it's that hard to find free to wear coverage of it just buy foxtel no it's nothing else in foxtel sorry mate youtube <laughs> youtube all the way um all right yeah he had a, he had a stellar season for oh, me so the, the qualifier at bathurst was unbelievable yeah so like, these two cars look very similar to me from last year they're, they're, they're probably differences they're, but they're quite similar I yeah I really liked what they did for the endurance races last year. That the metallic um, yeah. gold and red that yep. was a standout, and I would have hoped they would have continued that into this year. Yeah, unfortunately, they've gone back to that flat kind of color. Yeah. Maybe they bring it for special races like, like yeah. the enduro cups or whatever. And that. All right, so it's Penrite Racing, and so move on to the next team, which is Walkinshaw and Trudy United. Who? Or now, well, <laughs> the, the the team formerly known as Holden Racing Team, oh, um, yes, and yes, now yes. they're actually Mega Fuels Mobile One. I was just about to say, this team racing. to me, in the space of almost two years, is nearly unrecognisable. 
there's been a lot of changes, a yeah. lot of I'll, stuff so in I'll, and out, and obviously yeah. I understand. Mobile, mobile One's still on the bottom. I was going to say, so, so, uh, 26 I think one of the years best now. Liver, was last year when they were running it as Mobile One, but it was almost like it's, a throwback to that was the, that was the year before when it was okay. just Mobile that One, and then last year they had the, b- the boost. Boost, that's right. Yeah, boost. Yeah, <laughs> not full boost, but boost. Bit of history uh, the, there. Bo- boost has walked away, and they've got the Mega Dollars. Yep. Um, Mega dollars, yep. So I think, don't mega think it is mega fuel. dollars, but you got to take what you can get. They've got big balance yep. down the side of the car. So Courtney and Pi, um, yep. Is this the year that Pi fulfills his potential that everyone keeps on saying that he is uh, going to be a champion, future champion, going to race for Triple Eight or whatever this or that? Not. He always seems to be. You know those people in. For football teams that they get injured, like oh, or whatever basketball players, and or what, and like oh, if, if it wasn't for this, he would have been the best, or if it wasn't for that, he would have been the best. There always seems to be some reason. Oh, he's hasn't been in the best car, but if he was in a great car, he'd be X Y Z driver and this and that. Are we going to see? I, I the top best five? you can hope for is to beat Courtney. I was going to say, um, he's and probably uh, going to beat uh, his teammates. Last year, first, he, was doing, he was doing very well against Courtney. He probably had a better, much better year than what Courtney did. Yeah, and I think just with the equipment, if he beats Courtney, that's all yeah. you can ask for. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't. Right. They might sneak a win in here or there, but yeah, no. The, these guys do their own engines. Yes, so, yeah, so and they do the, the engines in. for um, Gary Rogers and okay. Erebus. And Erebus. So okay, the, yeah. the engines are definitely not lacking going off Erebus as a result. Yeah, they, they've always seemed to have a lot of horsepower, the um, the, yeah. walk, the Walkinshaw cars. And the so fuel company is pretty good yeah. too with the horsepower. Never, so. never, never lacked yeah. the power down the straights in it. So, yeah, all right. Um, so Mega, yeah, that is yeah. that's a, that is one of the freshest deliveries out there. So it, it looks all right. Yep. It's a, yeah, not bad. Not too bad. All right. Uh, Brad Jones. Brad Jones Racing. So we've got three cars in this stable this year. So yep. um, first, let's look at um, keeping in the family, Macaulay Jones and the Cool Drive sponsorship. So yes. formerly by Tim Blanchard. Tim Blanchard. Which is so Tim Blanchard's family company. So Tim um, Blanchard sponsored Tim Blanchard to race. Yeah. Which, like, uh, which is very common back in the older sort of yeah. older racing where, where you would have privateers who want to go racing you got a company why not you know, best way to get the company brand out there and race at the same time is put your own bloody name on the car so um, he's now obviously stepped away to focus on business sort of very similar yeah. to what um, Paul Dumbrell did yes um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, he, he's going to race. He's going to do the injuries with yep. Macaulay. Yep. Um, and good, good to see them staying in the sport as well. Mm. Like yeah, it's the, a, it's he a, stepped away, and they're not just walking away from it. At least, yeah. it's a good sponsorship. Yeah. Staying. I mean, that, that's. I mean, it's. It's. I mean, for the logo and the branding and that, it's probably as good as you can expect. And it's. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it, it's a good it looking looks, car. Yeah, it, like the, the blue color comes. Yeah. Comes up well on TV. Maybe, and, that. I mean, and, and that's the thing that with, with with one big flat color, it's something that I'd like to the enduros to see. Maybe the blue being like a metallic blue or something, just to, yeah. just to really pop. That, but um, that's yeah. a pretty good looking car. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, second one here is Tim Slade in the Freightliner uh, a, Commodore. Another so, one that had a holiday and used copy yeah, paste gonna, from last year. Doesn't I don't. Yeah, I don't remember it looking much different than this. Did, did this? Did the car run a different livery at the start of the year, or was it Friday? Oh, they did. Last year? They did change it up a little bit. But uh, yeah. Nick Perkat ran a Freightliner car that was inverted at a few rounds last okay. year. Yeah. So the yellow was where the black was. It's you know, yeah. to, so you could tell them apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. I mean, as yeah. you just said that the old old mate had a vacation there and come back yeah. and just click copy paste and. Print and then stuck it on. Um, Do we uh, need to talk about Percat's Nick Percat. paint job? <laughs> <laughs> well, the joke is that they've got to replace the panels anyway, so why bother giving you a paint true. job? Well, with their rolling paint job for each round with the different sponsors, yeah, I think they've got the work experience kid just to slap that one together. Uh, so it, it's yeah. straight out of the eighties. It is, it that is, would have looked it great is, in about 1986 at Bathurst. This, this looks like they CK went to um, National Pharmacy's website and got the <laughs> logo, like the, the website banner, and just, just put it on the it. side of the Commodore and just gone aspect ratio, print, done, send. All right, BJR, done. done. Uh, Kelly's. Kelly Racing. So they're the, uh, still, so with, is this, they don't have Nissan 
fracking no anymore, Nissan but they're still running Nissans. Yes. And Nissan engines, so it's all yep. Nissan still. It's all, all the same as last year, a little bit of an aero tweak. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no Nissan funding, which has yep. changed the driver lineup, yep. not surprisingly. Um, Gary, Jacobs, Gary Jacobson. One of the rookies. What, what the hell is Rebel? Uh, it's an app on your phone and a f- what? Uh, f- fitness app. I think you, you... That's probably why I don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put in whether you did a workout today or something and it tells you if you're good or something, I think. I'm not. Okay. It's, it's a startup thing. I don't know where they're getting all the yeah, money cool. to sponsor a full car Is it from, just me or does the rear wing sit about four foot off the back of this car? Well, that's because the car is a bit smaller than a Commodore or Falcon, so they had to put ah, the rear wing. So the whole length of it has to be for air. Yeah, it's got to be the same. It looks overall odd, length but, as a um, FG Falcon. So there's four FGS. There's four. What are these Altimas? There's yes. four Altimas here. Is this the most amount of Altimas in one place at any I've, time, except for a Nissan dealership? I've ne- I've never seen one of these on the road. <laughs> uh, I, I reckon I saw I'm up, one. I think. I'm up to about six now. Actually, my Uber Eats the other night came in a Nissan Altima. Really? That was pretty exciting. I did take a screenshot of it. <laughs> yeah. If Nissan like to send us an Altima to test drive, we'd, we'd gladly like to test they, drive one just to see if they actually exist. Because... They haven't sold them here for about two years. Oh, really? So when does the GDR turn up, Nissan? Mustang two doors. I'd... GDR. Nissan doesn't sell cars anymore. This is going to remain with me for a long time. You're a pack of assholes. That's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> That's well, next. That one's done. It's not all a right. bad looking car, though. It, is, it, it does look yeah. good. Yeah, I just yeah. don't know what that brand is, but that's why they sponsor yeah, cars, either. so people can ask the question of what that brand is. Well, look that's at it. it. That's the whole idea around, around I sponsorship it up, and marketing. And now too. you know as well. I do, and I'm yeah. better for it. Um, yeah. Simona? Harvey Norman sponsorship again? This looks Cubs. very yeah. similar again. So Yeah, but it looks good, I reckon. No, life's good, apparently. Life Not is just great. Good. Yeah. Life's good. When you're driving a Nissan Altima, yeah. when you're getting paid to do I it. I assume that's LG. Life's good, LG. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. that's it. Yeah. Again, Which I don't watch product TV pl- with ads normally. So. <laughs> product placement at Harvey Norman stores. <laughs> Nothing but, wrong with that. I'm sure yeah. they're kicking in a fair bit of cash. So. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That car looks as good as you looks can good. expect and with got Harvey Norman. Full sponsorship for that one. So you've yeah. got to be happy about that. Uh, Jerry Harvey be stoked too because he's probably got extra money now with GST being charged on all the goods that come into the country now, no matter how little you He'd buy. He'd be so. sleeping easy at night on that decision. Heimgartner. Andre Heimgardner. This is this is sponsored by um, Kelly Racing. Themselves. So this was uh, Michael Caruso's car, I suppose, from last year. Or what happened to Caruso? Did he slip between a crack in the ground or something? Yeah, and I haven't rescued him. He was small bloke, smashing the gear lever too hard, and they uh. flicked him. I think uh, he was asking for a bit too much money. Right. And the- does, it, does Andre bring his own money? Or I think he, I think Andre brings a little, but he doesn't get paid. Not by the looks much. of this, if they're sponsoring their own car, I don't think he's bringing any money. I think I this was a very late deal, and yeah. that's so it. they'll probably have a sponsor, maybe by GP or something. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. It still looks good. I actually thought it was Castetti Brothers Racing. It's very close. It, it's, it looks like no it's I mean, black and the red. Yeah. Or, I looked, I'm like, this is yeah. one of the Castetti Brothers Racing yeah. in the main game. No, it's just, no. just Kelly Racing. Yep. Rick, Rick Kelly. Uh, Again, this so this car to me is another one where they go, wow, we need some dollars. Co- copy paste, and then we'll just the, slap a heap of BP stickers it, over. It looks like they did the cash draw livery, and then BP said, mate, have I got a deal for you? <laughs> you put our logo with this whatever poo green <laughs> background colour on here. It's and an awful bang, yellow. And they laid, they, laid the, uh, yeah. they laid the green notes think- and, and some pineapples down there and said, yeah. You turn it's up, that's what you end up with. Awful yellow. Yep. That's, really uh, wrecks a great whoop. paint job. It look, I, I saw this car quite a few times last year, and, and and it's a very similar paint job, except for that the BP colouring yeah. in that. And look, it looked really good. And, it, um, it was one of the standouts of last year. And Gary yeah. Rogers Motorsport. So They only brought out a testing livery. Um, yeah, okay. they got rid of Old Mate Tander. Yep. Um, Boost Mobile's come on board, and they uh, yes. didn't want the senior citizen in the team. They wanted a young bloke. So, Stanaway gets a lifeline. Mm. So, Richie Stanaway in the 
the season before that when he was a um, enduro driver and it was whenever it seemed to rain it's, it's like some of those football teams or whatever that play really well in wet weather he seemed to be like the wet weather specialist he it rained and he was a gun brilliant in the wet and uh, he struggled a bit obviously with some really really probably poor gear at Tickford oh it was definitely the fourth yeah. string car and yeah. they had no sponsorship so there's no money spent on the car I yeah, wouldn't have thought no development nothing so yeah. um, who knows what this cousin looked like his lacked a little bit too he seemed um, there seemed to be a fair few reports of the media he was a bit the, um, the abrasive the drift session at um, Townsville wasn't great for his uh, contract renewal either yeah oh well we'll see what this car looks like at uh, yeah. Adelaide hopefully yeah. the test livery looks good though this car Irwin Irwin Racing yep I've got this a lot is, of Irwin around here. I love this brand. Yeah. There's a lot of it. Big, big hopes for this team. Yep. Um, the, the, the livery here, though, they just got the old Stone Brothers livery and copy-paste. They could have at least copied the one that Betty had on no. the Merc with the shiny No one saw that car. so far at the back of the grid. But yeah, but at least it looked good. Yeah, true. Yeah. This car looks um, pretty good. At least it, it stands out, the big uh, Irwin logo there. So... <laughs> Um, for they me, got Fuchs to change to a yellow background as well. What did you say to me? Fuchs. Oh, sorry. I thought you said something else there. Eh? <laughs> Fuchs, you. <yeah. laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, for me, this car, Frosty, um, with with obviously Ingle gone a couple of years ago, Lounsey gone last year. For me, this guy is, is sort of the face of supercars in terms of the only person someone almost outside of supercars may know. You, you do people know who... Oh, yeah, but come on. If uh, The kids don't know who he is. They Winter know who Frosty is, mate. Yeah, but... Uh, oh, yeah, because he's in that movie. Exactly. The, yeah. Mate, that, the movie, that movie's great. <laughs> I can, I've seen it 800 times. It's fantastic. But, so for, I don't have kids. For me, as um, the, the one, the, the car that I'm going to watch this year, definitely be Frosty because mm. whenever, I guess... Guys have struggled against Triple Eight and, and Wing Cup and that in the past. They've always said those guys have got the best gear. If I was in his car and I had his gear and and that team's um, data knowledge, why well, you'd see what I'll do. So oh, this year, guess what? That exact car there is Jamie Wing Cup's car from Auckland last yeah, year. Yeah, he raced it at Pukekohe last yeah, year. Yeah, and that, I think and they it, put their car on pole. Did it win as well? Yeah, I think they had one win in a second. Yeah. They, so the I'm pretty sure it was on pole. So, I mean, basically, that car is a race-winning car from very late in the year last year. As long as, long as Charlie keeps buying the updates, I think. Yep. They, they need to keep moving with it. You can't just yeah, go, so right... This it's, is last year's car. This is great, and just keep it yeah, going. So it, you need to. It's keep, not just a case where sometimes they buy a car, and it might be a couple of years old a car, and they go, "There you go," and send them on their way. They've got the data. Yeah. They've got a really good team behind them with new team boss and new engineer, um, and they've got a gun driver. So expecting big things out of that team because I mean, when Lee Holdsworth was in, no disrespect to Lee, but I mean they were pretty much you know I mean the, the, you have a look at the only highlight from that team before that and it was Lee crashing into the wall in Darwin yeah and that's pretty much the only time yeah, we've seen the car himself. on the coverage yeah, yeah. so um, hopefully see big things from that car so one last thing before we move on Frosty I think is going to be at Bunnings Mile End at some time uh, there so I think there's a Irwin challenge that's going to happen at the track too so if you reckon you're an ultimate tradie they've got some kind of challenge there where you can show your wares and do all this kind of stuff so check that out at the track or at one of the local I think it's at Bunnings Mile Inn so if you don't chew big red then f you now let's move on to oh Te it's techno. a single team so techno techno yep so Jack LeBrock deep breath um they got truck assist sponsoring them Mm. all year this year which uh, that's good yep what's truck assist something to do with trucks Sounds um, I really think it's like RACV for trucks uh, well, roadside assistance maybe I could go pick them up in our um, new project car can't mention that it's all good no, yeah. yeah later yep. I don't know about that I might have to what's, get onto your old truck assist that? Um, um, mm. there's been big changes here most of the people have left okay there's John Webb's running the team now. Yeah, who knows? Okay. It's a yep, old Triple Eight car with no updates. Backmarker at best, maybe. 
Uh, yeah, if he cracks the 20, he's doing a good job. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can That's only race with what you got. People think it's all... I mean, they get very emotional over drivers and, oh, this driver's no good, that driver's no good. Realistically, only good is the, the car they put park you in. And, yeah. you know, if you've got a car from a couple of years ago and it has no updates, then, yeah, yeah. what do you do? Cool. That's enough of that one. Um, this Matt is Racing. Matt Stone Racing. So this is probably... Out of all the teams in, in, in supercars, uh, this is one of the newer, newest teams. So, they, did they race last year as well? Yes. Yep. So yeah, they last, last year was their first year in the main game. They were the yep. uh, Super 2 champions the year before. Yep. Uh, but uh, they did, they had Triple Eight equipment when they were in Super 2 and then came in and bought a couple of DJR cars. Okay, yep. And didn't know what they were doing with them. Um, so mid year they went back to the old Triple Eight Commodore, and now they've got a proper new ZB Commodore. Okay. Um, Did they build this? Or is it a Triple Eight car? That, that's a Triple Eight car. Okay. Yeah. yeah cool. So it's a full. This um, this livery looks. I've seen this uh, in photos. There, it looks killer. Um, you probably got a little bit more license when you don't have a sponsor. That's right. If you don't have a sponsor, you can do whatever you want. So that looks. You'd amazing. like your name on the Matt Stone Racing car. Call them. Call yeah. them now. With a big check. Yeah. Good looking car. Looks really good. But again, oh, I mean. You can do what you want when you yeah. don't have a sponsor. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure so, they're willing to do whatever. I super, think, they, um, they'd employ super cheap auto racing guys to make their car look the same if they got money for it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I think. I think. I Jason would too. Gummisoles. If you'd like to sponsor my race car, <laughs> send parts now and I'll put a sticker on your car and glad you can do anything for money. I am a corporate shill. Um, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, yeah. Mm. Again, I, I mean, I think budget restraints—they're not yeah. going to do much this year. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all the cars. So moving on from the livery now, uh, focusing on what this, you know, um, supercars talk will probably be about, where we'll review the race uh, leading into it, and then also review the race after the effect. So. Looking forward now. A race this week is the Adelaide Superloop 500. Um, not the Clipsal. Not the Clipsal anymore. I keep on referring to the Clipsal. I had to actually look up Superloop and. What, <laughs> what do they do? Because I don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I did look it up when it was announced, but I've actually forgotten. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't know. Is it mobile? Mobile phone stuff or something? I think. I think it might be mobile related or something. So anyway, okay. um, Superloop 500. So tell us about it. What is it? Uh, pretty similar to previous years. We've got two 250K races, mm -hmm. uh, usual qualifying and that. I think there's a shootout on the Sunday like normal. Okay. Uh, there is uh, evening practice sessions this year though. Okay. I, think, I think they might have actually moved the races slightly later. These, um, these, so these cars, all I mean, all sunset. racing looks awesome at night. Well, it's not at night, but a bit closer to dusk, sunset, yeah. yeah. I think we're still being daylight savings. Was it a race they did over in Europe, United Arab Emirates or Dubai, yeah. the one they did at night? Yeah, that, that, was, was, that was awesome. Yeah. Go yeah. and do that again. Yeah, well, uh, Barbagello coming up. Is it going to be, be at night? night. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the Sydney night race from last year, that's gone for this year. Yeah. But that should be coming back next year as a summer race. Yeah, because the, these um, things just come alive at night with like they shoot the flames and the brakes glow on that. Not so much with great. the E85. They all shoot flames, mate. But not like they used to. <laughs> Put in the two-step. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right. So that's the format for the race. Uh, yeah. What, so last week was testing. Um, who is anyone impressed? I mean, it's just—it's well, like the might as well be like the preseason for any sporting comp where it's just yeah. nonsense and someone who's just like in the AFL, Carlton could win the preseason comp, and we were like Carlton. And then of course they just win no tick games because they're junk. Are you calling Tickford Carlton? Uh, you said those words. <laughs> you would definitely not be invited to Tickford to be a part of their marquee this year. Tickford <laughs> were the uh, fastest at the test day. Eh? The okay. Mustangs out of the box fastest, but. Who knows what tyres everyone put on and what program they Is that they because were the Coyote V8 is better than the LS? Because the, the Fords run Coyotes and the Holdens run LSs, don't they? No. No. What do you mean? They, Surely they've got the current tech that's actually in the cars out there to be relevant to whatever's being sold out on the road. Uh, oh. No. Are you no. saying that they've got like a specific block that no one's able to actually purchase and is really designed on 1950s technology? I think they actually struggle to buy the blocks themselves now because of that outdated. Yep. Mm. 
maybe uh, that's some a, kind of... That's maybe now, another video we could get into because that's a long discussion. I, I would really like to know why they stopped development of that twin turbo V6 and, and why they're not going ahead with that because I think that could have brought a whole new generation of people over to this oh, sport, but something definitely for, for you or, or, or both of us to cover oh, it at some point in the future. Oh, on the hush, I think it had to do with money. It's just that... Roland Dane's got mm. cash to spend it, mate. Get that. I want, <laughs> he doesn't I want, want to s- see a he GDR. He doesn't spend his own money. I want to see a GDR on the grid well, in 2020. Get your checkbook out. Not for you. That's like, Luke can get his checkbook out. Okay. He's rich, Full boost he? on the side. Yeah. Can't he be any different than Matt Stone Racing. Fancy European cars. Yeah, true. Must be rich. Racing, true. We'll run an RX8. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I've actually got a model RX8, and the wheels are hanging off it, and that is rooted, like every other RX8 out there, stacked ten high at the wreckers. Renesis. Um, all right, so Tickford impressed. Tickford impressed at the test day, but I wouldn't take too much away from that. Mm. I think you're probably still going to see the same guys at the front. Um, these guys, Erebus. I think they're the ones to watch. I won't get into it now, but there's been some suspension changes in the back and the other guys have been running this more technical suspension in the back while Erebus ran a lot of last year as though they have to run this year. Yep. So, so they, like they, they, ready, you, they have a rates, lot more experience yep. running the car as they're going to have to run it this yep. year. So I think they might come out of blocks pretty good. Yep. Um, of course, DJR and Triple Eight, they're going to be up there. Um, and hopefully for Tickford, they can be. Um, best of the rest, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think they're going to be fighting around that, you know, fourth best team mm-hmm. kind of position. Um, yep. And then the rest are just going to be behind. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we probably will do a different video um, in the next couple of weeks on some of the technical changes from 2018 to 2019. There are quickly some things that I know about. Yeah, the, the twin spring is gone. Uh, in the suspension, the ECU has had some kind of update. Um, I think it's a software, yeah. some form of software update. So it's, it's still a Motec. It's, it's still a Motec, yep. but apparently it's a new ECU. Don't know much about it, but I think they've changed it to a new a newer version of the. You probably know more about these, but yeah, I think that was an outdated ECU that they were only making for supercars. Okay, now they've changed to a later model, but they've also stopped them uh, from the fuel trimming that they used to, so that guys. Like these guys that were getting like 10 laps more than some yep. of the other teams out of a fuel load, they can't do that so the way they were used What are some to. of the other technical things that have changed you'll talk about in that video? What else is it? Um, well, obviously, we've got the Mustang changeover, the yeah. aero kit. Mm-hmm. Um, the Nissan actually had an aero update. You they might. moved the wing back another five foot? Or? No, I think they took one mil off the gurney flap. Oh. Um, oh. And there was a. Whoa! Ch- there was a change <laughs> to the... Um, What's a gurney flap? What's a gurney flap? The, you can cover the, that later. I have no idea. Okay. The bit that you don't push on the rear wing. Oh, yeah. All yeah. Right. And um, they changed the front splitter a bit as well, but okay. I can't see any difference. So well, Maybe in performance, it, maybe the, the driver feels it or whatever. So anything yeah. else? Any more gurney flaps or... Not that I can think of okay. right now. No worries. I had a list, but yep. you took it away. I did. I did take a list <laughs> down here somewhere. It's my cheat sheet. Maybe it, it helps me feel smarter. So I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, that's the cars, that's livery, that's the race that's coming up. I think that pretty much uh, sums up this episode, wraps it up pretty tightly. So um, good luck to everyone racing out there in all the support categories and all the supercar races. Uh, it'd be great to see the season get underway again because um, it's been a long time since the last race. I think you can watch this months, one so. on free to air as well. Yes. Yeah. What channel? 10, I think. Okay. Cool. 506 on Foxtel. Mate. Live every session HD. No, it's thanks. worth the money. I'll come around your house and watch it. <laughs> um, Keep the door right. locked. <laughs> thanks, mate. <laughs> so after after this week, after the race, uh, we'll do a race wrap-up. So we'll go over who won, what happened, all the, all the stuff. And uh, at some point also, we'll go through all the technical stuff. So... Uh, there's something you want us to cover off in in these episodes uh let us know if you're a race team and you'd like us to come down to your race uh race team and and have a look at some of the cars closely and interview some of you guys so you can appear on this um we'd yeah we'd be open to that as well so uh until next time we'll catch you later race fans
dicks. <laughs>